Yo, what's good? Brayden here. I just got back from the gym, hit a nasty pull day, and I got the inspo to record this video. Now, if you don't know me already, I am a growth operator. I partner with content creators. I sell their information, their expertise, and like courses, coaching programs, mentorships, da da da. I've done like over 100K in rev in the past like few months. Uh, I make people lots of money. I make creators lots of money. So all they have to do is just post content and make money. And now this is if you're a creator or if you're a growth operator, listen up. Um, so in this video, I'm not selling anything either. I don't sell anything to my audience. I just provide free value because it's fun and I want to spread goodwill. Um, but yeah, in this video, I'm going to talk about why YouTube is king and Instagram is lame. Now, if you're a growth operator, go after a YouTube creator. And if you're a creator, start posting more YouTube content. Here's why. For one, if you're selling info, imagine, I mean, people go to YouTube to search things up. For example, in my niche, it's clothing brands. So people are going to look up how do I correctly run or like how do I market my clothing brand in 2024? Boom. People on YouTube are actually there to search things up, to learn. People go to YouTube, they bust out the notebook and they take notes. On Instagram, it is literally brain dead dopamine monkeys with no money just like scrolling mindlessly on their phone and i know that because i've scrolled mindlessly on my phone before i only go on youtube when i'm like actually looking to find something of value right now don't get me wrong i actually like we've made like 30k through ig or like 50k through ig um but i still think youtube's way better and we're gonna go very hard on YouTube and I think that's what's gonna scale us to like 100K per month cash. But anyways, the second thing is YouTube has way more trust because generally, if people watch one of your videos on YouTube and it's actually good, people are gonna stick around, they're gonna keep watching you. And if somebody spends even just 10 minutes one-on-one -on -one with you in, a, in an intimate setting like a YouTube video, there's gonna be significantly more trust and trust is like one of the number one things that gets people to buy. And number, like right now we're in a trust recession. Like nobody trusts anybody because they're like scammers, blah, 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 whatever is going on in the industry. Trust is at its lowest. Uh, and on Instagram, it's really hard to trust a random motherfucker who you just see like flashing a Rolex. And that's like, let's be real. That's one of the, the like best ways to get attention on IG. It's hard to like actually get views on just like basic educational info right like the easiest way to get views on ig is like flashing the lifestyle showing the lambo whatever and that just like decreases trust even more honestly youtube second thing content continues to grow over time right i posted a video a few months ago it got 1000 views in the first month now it's at like three or four thousand views so content continues to go up and, and i'll get more into that in a second but youtube is just evergreen like you ever go on your home page and then you see a video recommended to you and it's like bro this is like 16 years old but it's it's still there on your feed right youtube will feed you old content if it's quality and so what that means is you can make a video with a book of call cta and you could get leads for the rest of your life or as long as YouTube sticker sticks around because it's going to continue to grow. It's going to continue to reach more people. And all they have to do is just go, boom, go in the description, book a call. Um, you're just going to get consistent lead flow. Second thing, with IG Reels, if you post after a couple of days, normally it just stops pushing it out to new people. I mean, very rarely do you get fed a reel that's older than like a week or two. And finally, it can be extremely easy to produce. For example, I just got home from the gym. I was talking to my creator about how we're gonna go super hard on YouTube. And then I was like, damn, I wanna make this video because I'm excited about it. Oh, like, I, bro, I haven't even showered yet. I just made this Myra board in two minutes and I'm whipping up this video, right? And it's probably gonna get a decent amount of views. So it can be extremely easy to produce, especially as a, a creator, as a coach, or just like providing value, providing educational value and information. You don't need anything too elaborate. Yeah, production quality definitely helps, 
but you can do whiteboard videos. You can just do you sitting in a room and talking. Like it doesn't have to be that deep. Where IG, you need to retain people's attention a lot more. There needs to be captions. There needs to be flashy edits. And all of that just for a 30 second video and you don't get as much out of it. Now don't get me wrong. If you like actually wanna make an extremely, extremely like high quality YouTube video with editing and all of that, of course it's gonna be more difficult because it's a longer video. But if you do choose to go the lower production quality route, you can still make an extremely well performing YouTube video in just one take. Like Sam Ovens, for example. Bro will just pick up a piece of paper and just like point at it and talk about it for like 40 minutes. And it's like a fucking triangle with an arrow and he just talks about that shit, right? So you, you can make very simple stuff and Sam Ovens is like one of the kings of info, all right? Now the final thing that I think is the coolest, I mean for one, I don't even want to get into selling high ticket on IG. It's way easier to sell low ticket through IG, like a DM funnel, maybe a webby funnel, something like that. You definitely can. Like I, I sold high ticket. We would do a story CTA, go in the DMs, book a call, da, da, da. But if you look at YouTube, let's say this is just a, a random scenario. Let's say a thousand views is 10 call booked or 10 calls booked. It's not going to be that every time but we're just using this as an example number. Okay. So you post four YouTube videos a month. That's super easy. Literally one YouTube video a week. Like you can do that in your sleep. Let's say each video gets an extra 1,000 views per month. So, okay, I, I'm gonna go more in depth. Let's say you have a 50% close rate, just to make numbers simple, all right? That means you post four videos a month, that's 4,000 views, which is 40 calls booked. 40 calls booked per month, that's 20 calls closed per month, let's say that's uh say your average close is like 1.5k was 20 times 1.5k fuck 20 times 1500 all right so let's say that's 30k a month boom 30k a month cash all right and then the cool thing about it is it compounds so you make 30k this month and then next month, you're also going to collect split pays, right? So you get, you get the second half, which is even more cash, but it's going to compound. You, you're going to continue to get an extra 40 calls per month. So the next month, then you go, boom, you get 80 calls booked. And then that's 40 calls closed. And then next month, 120 calls booked that's 60 calls closed. And on top of this, you're getting the recurring split pays and boom, at that point, 60 calls closed times 1,500, all of a sudden you're doing 90K cash. And then add on top of that, um, I mean, maybe you have a low ticket upsell like we have, which is nice for the recurring revenue. Um, and then as well, the recurring split pays from that, uh, from, like if you do a split pay, say you have a 3K price point on average close at like 1.5K, then you collect 1.5K now, 1.5K in a month. All of a sudden, after three months, you're doing 100K plus. Simple. Like it's very simple. Scaling is very simple. Now, I'm not going to claim that because I haven't scaled to 100K per month yet, but I know I'll be there definitely by the end of 2024, if not sometime in 2025. All right, um, so yeah, this is a fun video to make. I have a lot of energy. So I got a fire pump right now. I just hit a W pull day, um, but I hope you got some sauce. If you're a creator, start posting just one, one YouTube video a week. It's not that hard. If you're an operator, do outreach for YouTube creators. It's W because YouTube creators have less of a presence on IG a lot of the time. So if you DM them on IG, or if you find their email, it's a lot easier to get a hold of them. They have way more goodwill in their audience. It's way easier to sell at a higher ticket price point. Um, and again, all these things I mentioned, more trust, educated buyers, content grows over time. And 
Also like YouTube retargeting ads, which I'm gonna get into in the future. But yeah, I hope you got some sauce. Subscribe, follow me, and I'll see ya.